mutual enemies, I guess is the best I can put it. Mm. Well, that's an imperial concern. You don't know of any churches in the area, do you? Or something that could be consumed as a church? What a curious question. <clears throat> there is indeed a church. Most of the time it's used for the Asarian nobles, but there are times where we hold our Sotar services for the men within it. And where would this be? I would think you of all people would know. We pass it every day. In the castle courtyard. I can bring you there. I don't think I'd be welcomed there. Not by yourself. I came here hoping to find a loyal man of mine. Instead, I found a corpse. He was trying to warn me of about a meeting in a church. Just when you passed me earlier, six men the black cloaks went riding in the opposite direction. Black cloaks, huh? Aye. You can see the glint of armor underneath their cloaks, however, so they must be military men. Or well-funded. <clears throat> well, either way, they killed some guards, so... They wanted now. Sounds like a perfectly good reason. For the Imperium to be involved. Piqued your interest? Quite so. Lead the way. I admit, I'm a little concerned I would be attacked on sight if they killed the men loyal to me. for you just let me know and you can dismount when we get inside absolutely not All right. i'm here with you man i don't want you in any danger i'll be okay i got my armor i got the potion What was the fucking merchant's name again? It's so forgettable. My brain just like blocks it out as soon as I hear it. Gur 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 Sure, can you be a, as soon as I get you in there? You don't get crossbowed right in the chest. That's what I was concerned about. I think it's quite likely. 
The only reason I think I might not is I'll start up quite the hornet's, hornet's nest if we're in proximity. Even if we do get up there, what's to say that we'll hear anything or see anything? If they notice we're there, they'll shut everything down, no? If they notice we're there. By your lead. Stay close. Speaking about an urgent matter. Very well, sir. Proceed. Don't worry, I have my eyes on these air hearts. Interesting business with the Baron of Mem. Security issues. I must speak with him at once. Think I'll think there with you. you? <clears throat> I have an eye on them. They have some information I want them to bring forth. More credible person in person rather than a missive. I don't have time to teach Drow how to write. Enough over here. There's enough horses outside of that church to start a fucking race. Hmm. How many cloaked figures? There were six that went past me. That's more than six horses. I'll go around on the walls up top, see if I can hear anything. You get close to the windows. One of us has to hear something. Got it. Who wants to take Torty? Careful. <laughs> Are we handing off the loud one? Is that what this is? I'll, I'll put my concertina on your horse. As she sticks with you, Lordling, I won't have an excuse. You take my meaning. Yeah. Come on, Torty. Yeah. come around the side of the old church you hear a great deal of low whispers it's hard to hear it's hard to make anything out the rain is so damn loud
Yes. You feel confident that you'd be able to pull yourself up to the window and peer in without being seen. You do so, and your eyes widen for a moment. Exactly. Figures in all black speaking quietly to each other. Highly organized. You see under a lot of their clothing is plate, chain, but no insignia, it's nothing. The whispering, you just can't make out what is being said on this side of the pain. And going inside would be impossible. What are they talking about? Perception check. As you look through one of the clear sections, it's just too hard with a vertical one, Kyler, the rain, the colored panels. They have something in there with them, boxes, but you don't know of what. But there's one detail you do clearly make out. Blood on their weapon. They killed your men. As one gets up and starts speaking, there's one phrase that cuts through the rain. One phrase that you hear. Now they just need to melt it down. With that, the rest nod and begin to rise and depart. The guards see them in plain view, say nothing, do nothing. Every single one of them mounts their horses and takes off. Do they take the box with them? I'm assuming so. I would hope so. <laughs> to answer your question, yes, that's gone. Okay. hear much. They opened a box of something and then said, now all we need to do is melt it down. Possibly that silver we've been hearing so much about. You didn't see which way they Why went, melt did you? It down? <laughs> That's the best part, I was about to tell you. Two. Went to the shoreline. Two. Went in the direction of Cassetto. And the rest took off into the forest. Likely protocol in case they were watched. <clears throat> you see which one had the box? 
It looked like one of the ones on the northern road heading north. Something very strange is afoot. Mm. And I don't know what it is, but I want to know. I'm with you on that. I don't understand, though. What's the point of melting down silver that's already coins? Usually melted into coins. Unless it's been forged. Whatever for? Don't know. Turn it into something else. I suppose... On a ledger, it could be made to look more like precious metals than outright set of silver. Could be a way to smuggle it. Turn it into bars. Easier to transport, easier to conceal. You might be on to something, broadly. Mm. Nothing we'll find out here in this nest of vipers. Yeah, you notice the guards it's didn't say or do anything. Well, they did not, did they? Or as we rode in. Need to talk. <clears throat> Unless you don't have signs for it. We can talk. We need the other draw. We'll uh do a quick loop around. I'll ask Arka. She might mull. I'll take a quick loop around town. I'm gonna do a quick sweep, make sure we won't follow. Yep. Have a nice night. Have you seen Sarah? Seen Sarah? Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Thank you. Wild mood. Yeah, talk. Hi. Um, probably half Kyler needs you. Tomorrow. Don't don't look grumpy at me. Oh, we can talk tomorrow. later. Kyler needs you now. That's more important. Now you need me. Oh. Wasn't okay. told you just fine a moment before? All the trower, Gary. <laughs> okay. Don't understand why you decide to work with someone so fucking clumsy. And irresponsible. Didn't exactly have time to wow, pick. Wow, you really did a good number, don't you, Arka? You could be a lawyer. You might want to skedaddle tips. <laughs> A 
after this, can we talk? Like, is that something we can do? Because, like, I get the passive aggressiveness. It only works if I know why you're being aggressive. It doesn't look like you were forward. Good. This is the one we need to speak to. Probably someone not out of the open. <sighs> Father would fucking kill me. Come on. going to bed. You've got the floor. Are you going to tell them or am I? Very good. You're involved in a lot more things than a lot of others here. The company you keep is interesting, to say the least. There's something that we came across today by sheer accident. Something that you might be able to put your finger on. The Lordling here was trying to get in contact with some individuals that were loyal to him, or so he says. And we got there. They were all stabbed to death, necks slit, and shoved into a hay pile in the back of the cross keys. Talked about some sort of meeting taking place at the church. There is only one church, and that's inside of the castle wall. There were a bunch of individuals there moving what looked like boxes. It was hard to hear anything they said because of the heavy rain. One second, one second, sorry, sorry, one second. Go ahead. Oh, shit. Well, that seems a little bit more important than what I was saying. Yeah. Disseminate information, I'll be right back. <clears throat> Well, you were there. Mm hmm <sighs> This might be a way to clear on. There have been talks of, um... Shifting forged... Uh, silver bars and silver coins around the province. They believe that the reason that Arn killed this head scribe is because he was doing something like that. So we can pin it on these guys. There we go. Alright. A few more steps to it, but yeah. It certainly would help. Thanks for coming. Of course. I always say I'm right here for you whenever you want. I know I'm not great at sneaking, but I am good at with a sword. Whoever these people are, they're professionals. <clears throat> they were wearing plate and their cloaks and the way they starfished out afterwards is protocol. Like, that's... worrisome. Mm. 
Oh, I'm nice. Do we know anyone that's already organized like that? Oh, the silly little clowns are having a shootout outside. Oh. Oh, I shit. didn't want to die in VR. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You ever hit the deck in your own apartment complex before? No, Me I live either. in Australia. <laughs> <clears throat> As I was saying, seems to me movement of something, something of import, and the lordling heard something that I didn't. What was it? Uh, now all we need to do is melt it down. Melt it down. The Erdharts have been accused of smuggling silver out of the region. It's one of the more damning things that they say they have proof of. Someone is smuggling silver or counterfeiting silver or making it, moving it out of the region, something. No idea what the source might be, and we may not have time to find it. That's the problem. But it's going to be used to put this one on the chomping block, I think. Maybe. At the very least, my father. Yep. You have any ideas? Of where this would come from, or who would do this? It's no secret, a lot of you sneak around in the middle of the night <clears> and <throat> put yourselves involved with the Capitano and all that. You seem to know how to dismantle things that shouldn't be seen. Where do you think it's coming from? <sighs> Not too sure. Can we assume these people are against Notus Province? That is a fair assumption, or they have a stake in it. Carbosra. They are our allies, so we rule them out. Palamon. Hmm. Palamon is where Palamon the could are. be. Recognize the, the symbol. Is internal. Symbol. It's the symbol that was found on the silver boxes. The C's with the crown on above. You know what that is? This is a noble heraldry. I figured. I'm not familiar with the houses of Gradio. It must be a minor house, then. And certainly not well, a major. The easiest bit of information I, I can give you is most of the Radods hate the Vipex, and all of the Vipex hate the Radods. Neither of them want power for the other. So, it's probably them. There is a lot of shit that the Vipex are getting up to very soon to put Notus back on the Vipex map and not the Radod map. Well, I agree with you. They're going through too much trouble to utilize corrupt nobles in this province. Which means they don't want to do this in open conflict. There's something they're afraid of. And I don't know what it is. And what are they melting down, would you say? We assume we silver. It might be silver. Well, think of it, if you move silver as mm. coins in boxes, they'll make loud noises, you won't be able to smuggle it, bars can be wedged in, made silent. Wait a fucking minute. Written off as... What I told you earlier about the vineyards. The boxes. That would make sense. What if they're Vineyard? the same boxes? What that if it's would... Sarkozy? What if this is Sarkozy's doing, and it's his first step to fixing his fuck-ups with Palamon? Was there something discovered at the vineyard I'm not privy to? Kyla? Okay. This is your call. <clears throat> we have began to suspect that Sarkozy may be a plant by the, by the Vapex to exist in Nortis province in order to destabilize it for the Vapex so they can do whatever action they need to do. The money he's been brought in from the Vapex himself, he's used to pay off debts from a bunch of nobles and whatnot, gaining favors, and it would explain why every time we've tried to consolidate power or to make the province stronger in and of itself has been blocked by one noble or another. They've always had something to say about it. It's, it's the Vapex son that runs the Trident farmlands. Vice he's the one. Vapex. Yes, he's the one stipending into Sarkozy. He mentioned to Sarkozy that this next stipend is the last, and if he fucks up... What's his name? 
Vison. Vison. Vison said he's going to starve the province. Starve the province? Yes. And what do they have to gain by starving? Taking the vineyard back. Take the whole goddamn what, province. Yes. But they it seems like they're trying land. to avoid force. That's the thing I'm confused about. Empty threat, he maybe. He didn't seem but forceful about it. He made it sound like he was just going to cut off all food and starve them out slowly for the orcs to come and clean up the rest. If they have overwhelming military power over the Redons, and they have not marched yet, there's something stopping them. Which means somebody here must have some sort of connection that none of us know about. To the council, Whether it's the council or something sons. else. Hmm. You think? I know. They're liars, yeah. both of them. Hmm. That complicates things. I see. The thing is, though, Sarkozy's a joke at court. He's mocked by every single noble on all sides. Which means he's Which desperate. Which means, yes, he could be desperate, but he also could just be meant to fail, look bad. We assumed that too. So, Weissenverpecht mentioned, very out in the open, surprisingly, that there's going to be a large sum of money given to Sarkozy as a last chance. To be specific, 20,000 fucking silver. That's 200 not a small gold. Amount. Why would he openly talk about this and not send it in an unmarked missive? That's. <laughs> anyone could have been listening to that conversation. So then Kyler and I and Tiberius, we started thinking. Well, Gradia's cutthroat and everyone fucking pulls the rug out from under each other all the fucking time. What if this is a setup for Sarkozy to fail and for the Apex to move in? As like, a, oh, you forced our hand. We. We tried to help you, but you fucked up again, and there is no fucking If it looks money. like what Sarkozy has him? been ousted or murdered, they would have grounds to seize the vineyard by force. And then Kyla brought up, what if the money is fake? What yes. if the 2,000 to 20,000 gold that's given is fake? And it traces back to Sarkozy, and he gets legally in trouble. There's many ways that they could spin this. But we might just be overestimating them, if I'm being honest. No, I think you're all on the right track. You can thank Kyler and Tiberius for that one. I have a lot to consider and a couple of things to look into. The only thing that I can add to this... <clears throat> ...is... I have attempted to try and discern what it is that Palamin's objective is outside of the vineyard and conquest. They're not only in talks with the other provinces, but they recently had a council marshal come and visit Palamin in the past two weeks. I don't know if you know how things work with the marshals here, but they only get sent anywhere to quell issues or insurrections or rebellions. Food for thought. Either way, I'll take this information I have and look into a few things. If I find anything else out, I'll let you know. Do try to not get a bolt to your chest, Lord Edhart. Becoming fond of me. I wouldn't go that far. I usually take <laughs> the bolts for him. I'll do my best. He's lucky then. Hmm. But my peer doesn't Damn need right bolts, my lord. I'm aware. Good luck to you all. And you. Out of trouble. He'll get what's coming to him eventually. Remember when we mentioned not saying anything to anyone? You brought me here. He brought you here.
Ist okay. So I hope that he's actually on our side. Well, you trusted enough to work with him. You trusted him enough to get you in the keep. It's the only way to get in. No, it's not. To do what we needed to do, yeah. This is the best case scenario. If he helps us, you're right. Yes, it is. He has a no lot of resources. He also has no reason to betray us. He has no reason to help us. He has plenty of reason to help us. He's you... not like Victor. That much is evident, but I'm... Much is evident. Hesitant. Regardless. I get it. My skin fucking crawls every time I see them in their uniforms. I get it. Every time their big fucking stupid brown pointy hat comes around the corner, I fear for my goddamn life. We were both there in Don Meyer. I remember. Yeah. But he has not once proven to not be help. Not once has he proven to be an enemy. A threat. That you know of. I've heard a few things. He saved my fucking life when I snuck into the basement of the clinic. Victor was right there. And he just didn't say anything. He saved my ass. Why would he do that? His actions are confusing. He's different. He is different, but They're I... not confusing, Kyla. <sighs> He's not a bad person. You don't get to... He hunts monsters. You don't get to that sort of position and that sort of organization through sunshine and rainbows. You know that. Well, then why the fuck did they bring him here? You said it earlier. All the people here are fucking low lives. Dario, Sanders. Maybe he fucked up. Check, Sarah. Maybe they want to get rid of him. Up. Maybe because he doesn't fucking agree with them. Maybe because he wants change like Sanders does. What a statement. And everyone here is some form of outcast. Everyone here is some form of failure. Why are so many failed officers, NCOs, possibly inquisitors in one place? What did you hear so last night? Head. Some sort of presence in Palamon. What did you say about the Palamon Imperials again, Kyla? Um, they're different. They're not necessarily <clears throat> opposed to the ones that are here. But they're different. They do actions. Mind tang, we're having a bit of a really need to fix that door. Yeah, I know. I'm working on the hinges. <clears throat> I'll walk around the block. Appreciate it. They're different. And Dario himself has said that there are rats, traitors in the garrison of the Imperials here. They've been trying to weed them out. They're so close to each other. Why are they separate from each other? That's weird. <clears throat> are we not weirded out by this? It's, again, strange. I don't know why. Maybe they want to take care of them somehow. <sighs> uh, that's a... Uh... This is way over my fucking head. Anyway, it's fine. He knows now he can be an asset. I just don't fucking trust them. That's all. Look, and if he's not, it's my fault. You can say I told you so a million times. You can tattoo it on my fucking forehead if you want. Not really my style. Um. 
We continue our plan as usual. All right, you know what we gotta do. And I guess she's involved now? I haven't told her anything about it. Then why the fuck was she with you? I was... We were with each other when a fucking... What are they called? People with letters. My brain is so fucking fried. Courier. Courier. Showed up, panting, sweating. Um, one of my people who had vouched for Arn and I was in danger. And we didn't know if how much time he had. Jumped on the horse and left. That was all the thought I had into it. If I could find you, I would. But I didn't have the time. I'm sorry. What now? Continue our Do plan. Do to be arrested by the Imperium? <laughs> I doubt that they would. Uh, I don't know. Just keep your head down as best as possible. Continue with our plan and... Yeah. It's a juggling act. I don't mean to be harsh. No, I do. But I don't mean to direct it at you. I think you two gotta squash that. We don't have the freedom to have chips on our shoulders or annoyances with each other without dealing with them or at least getting them out in the open. We're gonna have to do some fucked up things in the next coming days. I need focus. So, whatever you two need to do, handle it. I would like that. What did I do? It pisses me off that you even forgot, or are pretending like you don't remember. Then, forgive me for a moment. And tell me what I did to earn this, please. You threatened my slave. And on top of that, you told her the life that she's living is her fucking fault and she chose it? You're a hypocrite. Okay. Now that I know the context, would you like the truth? What am I just not- I'm supposed to not fucking believe her? You tell me what the appropriate response is when you say, Hey, Akka, don't go behind the counter. You're not hired there. Don't go behind there. Please, I'm begging you. Uh, Basil literally threatens people, so I am too. Don't go fucking back there. And then her response is... And I go, Akka, I'm not kidding. You're not tired here. Stop going back there. Please, I swear to God, I'm going to tell Sarah to chop off your finger like I would tell anyone else. So, yeah. Yeah, and I say, don't do it. And then she starts doing the, why? 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 And we go down the list of why. She's not employed here. She is a slave. She is not employed because she is your slave and something she did is the reason why she's not free yet so that is why she's not allowed back there so don't go back there that is how mostly the conversation went skipping a few extra agitations and whys yet I she snapped. told me that basil gave her express permission to be back there she did not tell me that. Basil did not tell me that. Akka did not tell me that. I All I know is she's not allowed back there. I'm trying to fucking protect Garbom's place because everyone's disrespecting it constantly. People are constantly going behind there to Basil's agitation. She was so frustrated. I thought she was going to cry like two days ago about it because some asshole just leaned over and grabbed something. And it's like... 
for fuck's sake, I would have threatened you if you kept on, you know, teasing me like a child. And I get it. But if she, she wants to be treated like how pe No! She is not! She's a yes, people! Yes, she is! She's a child! Thing... She's younger, comparatively, but here's the thing. If she wants to be treated no, like people, Georgie, I'm going to treat her understand. like people. She, a child, mentally, she's not developed. The next time something like this happens, you come to me, and I will handle it because she is my property. You do not fucking That's threaten what? her. I told her that I was going to tell you about it. Yes, okay. I'm sorry. I'm just, I told her directly. And when she acts like a child and yet insists on being captain, I saved her life yesterday. No questions, no nagging, no reminding that I saved her life. We were out there. She got tackled by sharks and she was in the middle of the water bleeding out. I go in there, grab her. She's unconscious. I bring her back to shore, get her treated. I don't mention it. I get only one share of the prize money anyway. I navigated, I saved her life, whatever. I accept that. If she wants to earn my respect as her self-proclaimed captain, I'm going to treat her like a normal person. She can't have it both ways. I don't get it both ways. I don't know what I'm doing. I won't have done anything without telling you. I was going to try to tell you right away this morning how her... I don't know what to do. I've warned her time and time again. I've warned her so many fucking times. The next time she fucks up, she's done. I was cutting her loose, and she'd be her own fucking responsibility. I can't keep doing this shit, man. She doesn't tell me the fucking truth. I've lost out on a fucking nearly two gold because of her. I fucked up. I, I fucked up. I, I'm gonna go back in. I had the model. I, I had the model. I'll go I, back in. We'll do it again. No, no. Okay, I'll, I, I wait. No, I okay, can, I'll be, I can I'll be, fix this. Alright, I'll be right here. Just give him a moment. Just give him a moment. Just give him a second. Just give us a second. This is so fucking God. unprofessional. I can, I can, this is this amateur? Can, can fix. Okay. Okay. Alright, ready? Yeah. Uh. How can I help? I see him pull out a book and a quill. <laughs> Have you seen Sarah? Written in common. Oh, you're her. Yeah, um. I'll send her out. with good and bad. You're doing better than my mother, if that makes any consolation. There's uh, someone else I'm about you. to give up my it's child. It's not like you chose <clears throat> an easy child to raise. Let's be honest. I have done everything for her. I have bled for her. I have emptied my fucking pockets. I have killed people. Did she tell you that she was part of Bartholomew's crew? No! She doesn't fucking tell me anything. I'm in the dark. I am at her fucking mercy. That's why I treat- Gotta go. Hold on, Sarah. Oh, fucking body. I don't know the solution. And I'm sorry that all it took was that to get that much anger from you. In the future- for weeks. It's not just you. I just can't keep fucking up with these people. Silva and Una and now Arka, I just can't. I'm literally destined to be alone for the rest of my life. 
and I guess that's just how it's going to have to be. Now, if you don't mind, there's probably someone outside wanting to kill me. So I'm going to go handle that. Good night. Take care, Sarah. Good night. Hey, you did really good, though. It's been bugging me literally all day. I'm glad we got it to the surface, at least. Yes, thank you. I need thank you to earn your <laughs> games. Making that happen. Yeah. This Inquisitor, Torti... Yeah. I don't know how to feel about it. <clears throat> I really don't. My general opinion, if you wanted us dead, we would be dead. And so far, he seems interested in keeping focus on the monsters. I'll just, I'll keep him on a short leash as best as I can with this. Thanks again for your help tonight. Of course. I'm always happy to help when I can. Yeah. It's like every day things get more and more complex. <clears throat> I won't keep you anymore. You sure? Nothing else you need? I can, uh... Do something. Anything. Unless you can <laughs> stove my head in with a brick. <laughs> I mean, I can do that. I don't think your dad would be happy with me. <laughs> no. You did great tonight. Thank you, Dorothy. You have a great night. Of course. You too. I'll see you around. <sighs> Evening <laughs> tips. A lot of interesting company tonight. Yeah, yeah, you saw that, huh? <clears throat> Many strange people I've never seen approach this place. Good reason. Yeah. Didn't really want them inside, but hey. Didn't really want to tell them what we did, but hey. We're here now. <sighs> Can I get some stew? Give me a moment to get out of this. Yeah, of course. <sighs> You can tell by that look on your face. <sighs> Something happened while I was away. <sighs> Got an urgent courier. <clears throat> Crashed in on tour tonight in the bathhouse. Said, um, 
one of the merts, mercenaries, mercenaries, <laughs> merchants from uh, Corsetto who had previously spoken in defense of my father and I had information for me. He seemed scared out of his fucking mind. Yeah. Something that would help exonerate Arn. I jumped on Maelstrom with Torty and rode out to the Cross Keys. Got there and he and Guard were dead, brutalized. Throat slit. I'm sorry, what? Got to the Cross Keys, he had been murdered, along with his guards. Checked his body and there was a note on there, the only thing I could gleam from it. Something about a church, and that he was supposed to warn me. On my ride back to town, we stumbled across the masked Inquisitor, doing his own thing. Ended up giving him the details, and he pointed out that there was a church in the inner keep. He got me in there, and I managed to see at least six or so cloaked figures wearing plate, well armored, well armed. They had some sort of box, and then they said something along the lines of, "We have to melt it down." And they left the keep and starfished. Mm -hmm. In several different directions. Is it still private? It's okay, you can come in. Then we all compared notes down here and Hey Lisa. Same. Yeah. Evening to those. Evening. Mm -hmm. Ah, uh, I won't push more than that, and we'll speak in the morning. There's not really much else to what? say. Just an eventful night. Well, what are you doing? I didn't see you have a have anything to eat. Get back here down here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me a second. There's a pot full of food right there. Oh, by the way, Basil said if you need any more of it, she has more. You just need to come and get it. Anything I should be appraised of, or I just gave her a panini. But... Ever in your entire life of knowing her, seen her reject food? No, but <laughs> we're also trying to make sure that she won't eat anyone out of house and home. Well, I just was told that <laughs> Basil will make more for free, so. <sighs> All you can eat, apparently. When when those words were okay, first crafted, point. they didn't know Lisa existed. <laughs> also correct. <sighs> oh, <clears throat> by the way, we're teaching her things. Oh, yeah? Mm. Soon she will be able to help you with your paperwork. I'm teaching her how to read. Starting. Reading and paperwork are incredibly two different things. Yes. <clears throat> also, most of my paperwork is sensitive as well. Mm. Still, I was going to keep you updated anyway. That's fine. Mm. But, um, yeah, that's my night. More men dying for me, unnecessarily. How you doing today? Trying to unfuck myself out of a fucked situation. Need help? There's something you can do right now. We're on a waiting game. Just keep doing what you're doing.
brother said with the... Uh, you see him not helping himself when he can kick his ass. She couldn't kick my ass if it was a foot in front of her. Oh, now he's saying a thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I think I brought it up with all, all of you individually. <clears throat> but, um, since I don't have a retinue or... We can't trust the guards, and Han isn't here, or Crenshaw, or Elena, or Cyrus, and I'm kind of the only person of my house here. I would like it for you guys to stay over during the nights in case someone kicks down the door and tries to shoot me, but that's totally up to you. <clears throat> trust me, if anybody tries to do that, I will take up both of their arms and then shove them in a hole. I have an honor guard of a Warforged, a Templar, and his girlfriend, and Wolf. We could take on the Imperium. Ah, I like those odds. Ah, <clears throat> uh, yes, the E-Team. The E-Team! <laughs> God, it's not that bad. <laughs> that, that does sound like a plot to a bad novel. Yeah. Yes, uh, me, a uh, dragon lord, what... attempting to take on the entire Imperium with a warforged on a guard, a Templar and his girlfriend, and a wolf. We can do it. To be fair, the girlfriend isn't... We're getting that. But they are full well-known. She's a girl, right? Yes. She's and your she... friend, right? <laughs> and she's your friend. Is it really going this way? Is this, <laughs> what, what, what am I, a child? Is this, is this where we're going? You Jeez, like it, right. don't you? Ah. Yes. Like you Lisa are. here has been my, not... one of my closest friends for the past, what, three, four years? And she's a girl. There's nothing wrong with having girlfriends. I'm having this talk with me. <laughs> it's perfectly normal. Like, he's at that age now where he started to notice girls. It's perfectly normal, Tiberius. I, I, I will reach over this table and I will backhand you. Women him. exist. <laughs> you have to understand. I, They're like I us, would hit but him, different. but I would literally just hurt myself. <clears throat> oh, go ahead. I've already got a dent in my forehead. Huh. Oh yeah, you no, want to see something funny? Either. You will notice a tiny dent. Do I? What? Huh? His fault. How? My fault. How? How? Drunk forging. I didn't hit you. I was you. probably deserved then. No, I'm, 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 I'm kidding. I was, I was saying I don't remember hitting you. Did you hit him? It was a. It was a battle wound <clears throat> for repairing the bullet. Oh. A lucky oh. shot got in. I'm fine, I just have a splitting headache. Mm. Oh, I'm fine. Yeah. You know damn well it takes a lot more than that to put me down. You can sit down, you know that, right? Yeah, you really can. There's four chairs. Lisa, sit. Ooh. Ooh. Here, let me make it easier for Ooh, you. Okay. Looks could kill. <laughs> here, right here. I'm just going to you slide, can slide here. Upside the head all you want. <laughs> Listen, my lord. Not really kind of woman to sit. No, I'm usually Especially more directed when about she goes when, by I, wolf. when it's like that. <laughs> there you go. Oh, much better. Comfortable, right? It's like swordsmanship. When you hold your sword and you're in a fight, you don't grip it hard the entire time. You wait until you're about to take a strike or a block. Otherwise, you exhaust yourself. Let go of the grip a little bit, okay? So... One of the things that we're trying to teach her 
<clears throat> is how to relax. She's sitting. That's step one. Yeah, step one. She's on her ass. Step two. <clears throat> Make her not growl at everything. I think that's if you're treating her like a child, that's probably why she's growling at everything. I'm not treating her like a child. I'm treating her like... Well... This is me being affectionate. I care about her well-being. Mm. So are we all just going to sit here in the intellectual thinker pose while we determine exactly what to discuss over this dining room table? Uh, I've got a million I mean, we things. have been discussing it. Yeah, spinning around in my head. Even shit that doesn't matter right now. I'm like... How do we establish a, a town in the Sabine Forest? We need to deal with the Orc threat first. But for that, we need to... I, I think none of those are pressing. No, they're not pressing, but they're fucking in there. <laughs> I keep going down these things, like... Doo -doo 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 -doo, and I'm like helping someone. I'm in the middle of helping someone. I'm like... And then and then we'll be out of there, you know, st stabilize the province. And in my head, I'm like, I'm supposed to be saving my fucking dad. You know? Mm. So get pulled into one thing. And, and it's very hard to do that when you're already dealing with the province's problems, which they should be dealing with instead of hunting down an innocent man. Yeah. Yep. But you're also not just going to let a whole bunch of rampant orcs and a whole bunch of problems happen just outside of the walls without consequences. Because you know damn well if the orcs decide to suddenly charge into one of the settlements nearby Nodis, they would blame it on the Erdhart, saying, Ah, oh, their protection is shit. <laughs> I mean, they, 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 they exile my it, father, it is, it is all of response. his forces. They, they, they fucking put his balls in a vice, and then when shit goes wrong, they go, How could the Erdharts do this? I still cannot get over. Ladia going against her people's oh, orders, not this getting herself <laughs> captured, <laughs> taken into the and robber she's... baron's keep, and then people going, mm -hmm. damn Erhards, how could they do this? You were supposed was... to be protecting her! That's fucking your job! <laughs> I'm sorry. Can, can, can I just, can I just be completely open and honest here? Yeah. Just open table? Yeah. Mm. Why are nobles shit? Fuck man. <laughs> I have not met more than two, two, maybe three nobles that I actually like that I would be more than fine with interacting with okay, on a normal basis. There's me. Yeah. There's on. Okay, four. No, keep going. Yeah, oh, you don't no know anymore. That's, yeah, that, I mean, that's it. You don't know how many nobles I know. Yeah, you know I mean, fucking times, like people have been like, "You're not like the other lords, are you?" And I'm like, "No, we have a code. We have honor." <laughs> no, you're fucking not. Everybody else is dicks. <laughs> They just sit up in their fucking keeps or their fancy mansions inside of the very secure I want, walls. I want to take of all of cities. you guys into a small council meeting just once and just and just see these people. Ah, you don't, yes. You don't need to take so the, me. I already know. Dario nearly climbed over the fucking table to beat the fuck out of someone <laughs> the other day. Ah, uh, yes. Take me into a small council meeting so I'm able to see a whole gaggle fuck of nobles with their silver-plated balls. Throw them around the room. This is Tang. He's my anger translator. Careful. No, careful. Some of the noble lady might try to treat him as an experience. I'm just saying. We've had it's several right. people treat him as an experience, actually. I've already been accosted by two noble women who were asking me 20 questions. I told you. It's gonna happen. <sighs> Mm 
I just know how to speak noble because I need to get them to leave me the fuck alone. Yeah. So I have buttery words, and then I say, I'm sorry, I have pressing business, and get the fuck out of there. <laughs> I say, say it later, yes, and I, I leave. I'm a man made of metal. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I... <laughs> I worked at a silver mine for a living. I know how to interact with the nobles, at least to a minor, minor place. Oh yeah, by the way, so you're able to answer the question a while ago. My hometown is Silver Reach. I knew that. What is our main export? Silver. And why is that the case? Because there's a silver mine there. What the f- what the- Tang- It's because Silver Reach is- well, was Arlen's main source of silver and minting. Mm-hmm. And now yeah. it's not. Anyway. Don't say that, that makes me sad. I've actually heard a bit about Arland. Quite a few of the main places have been turned into fortresses nearly to deal with that threat. Yep. Yeah. You know, Adwick has turned into one giant keep so that they can draw the rats there and deal with them. While the capital was pushed back to uh, Lord Godfrey's house. Can't remember the name of it. He's now king, by the way, if you didn't know that. Godfrey? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I forget about the fucking Civil War. <clears throat> yeah, he showed up in um, Gradia a month or two ago and grabbed as many mercenaries as possible and went back north. Yep, there's a Civil War going on. <clears throat> of all times. Yep. And that makes me think, what about Gavis? And then that makes me think, what about Fulgrith? Where's he in all this? Mm. That's my answer. Nowhere. Yeah, you've seen the shit that he can do. The whole, the whole reason why there's a civil war in the first place is because they have gone... Whoo, like mm -hmm. the wind. <clears throat> Thinking about it, I could have three ideas in mind where they could have been. One, a marble tower sitting in the middle of the Gradian desert. Or Gradian continent. Two, some buttfuck nowhere place underground. Or three, all of the above. And they're just constantly moving and nobody's ever able to find them because they're constantly on the move. Sounds like a waste of marble. <laughs> Have you seen Ejmitalas' border? Have you ever seen the Institute? Uh, yes. It looks like a massive waste of marble. Yeah. And you said the Institute's made well, out of the It's an extremely durable rock. I, <clears throat> I've heard a lot of things about the Institute. I'm... I want to see it. Because my mental image of it, it is, it is fucking... It's a white place. Like, marble. But I don't know what the hell. I... What do you think about all this? All places? I know is there's two places that I would really like to visit at some point. The Institute and the University. <laughs> mm -hmm. Very insightful. <clears throat> Great, now I'm missing my sister. Fuck. Anyways, the other two nobles that I knew, the Lady of Luxor and... The Baroness. So far, she seemed nice. Yeah, she stopped my ass from getting tortured. That was pretty cool of her. I haven't talked with her personally, but hey. She's... It's frustrating. She is... Incredibly smart and resourceful and, like, fair. But she just doesn't have the power right now. 
Because she's already using the amount of power that she has to remain in the seat. Something like that. Because I'm pretty sure about 70% of the nobles inside of the council want to see one of the Baron's sons take the throne already. I mean, they've already been vying for it for how long now? When did you die? Well, with the very years. presence, that whole po point of vying for the throne is lost now that she's, well, competent and aware. But also, she's not Precisely. vying since Amen is the oldest. <clears throat> but well, you if know, that the case, then he would be barren by now, wouldn't he? He technically was. True. But it wasn't proper. I don't know, they they kind well, of shared yeah. the power. A man would say something, mm -hmm. and then Kovez could un undo it, and people would be fine with it. Politics are weird. Sounds very much like chaos, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, you've been up there. You know mm -hmm. what we're yeah. dealing with. It is chaos. <clears throat> mm -hmm. And you know why it's chaos, too. Well, anyway. Yeah. Trying to tackle the problems one at a time is really the best bet you have. And at the moment, the best thing that you're able to do is clear or at least pull up a buffer for your father so that he's able to return and tackle these problems with you. The more heads you have on the situation, the better that it will actually turn out. Man, it's so fucking complex. When I was, when they came to arrest me, I was in a, I was in the forward operating camp of the Radards, and I was surrounded by loyal men, and they said they would fight and die before they let me get arrested if I didn't want to. And fuck me if I wasn't tempted just to pull the trigger on that and make it be so much more simple. <clears throat> yeah, then we would have two fugitives, and everybody else would likely have been executed for affiliation. Exactly. Well, I would have been dead, so you wouldn't have to worry about me anymore. They would have executed you. Oh, they would. Direct affiliation with you and your father. I was sworn. your second during the whole war. <laughs> Not to mention he's a drow. Do that. Any, no any offense, chance to but... <clears throat> execute a drow, they would. No, yeah. I agree with you. I'd have saved you. I'd have I come mean, back you... and saved you. Would you now? Yep. Mm. Me and my QRF oh, climb the walls of the keep, take your ass out, oh, rally, oh. rally the rest of the townsfolk. Fucking you and you would go out there, find Arn, take this whole goddamn province by storm. You mark my words, it would have happened. <laughs> exactly like that. My, how romantic. <laughs> and then you would have, like, oh, saved your really? girlfriend and you would have been, like, bridal carrying her out of the town as it's exploding behind you and stuff. Why did you arm that? I wonder if it would have been the opposite... No reason at all. Uh, totally not going to try to climb the walls of the keep and figure out exactly what they have on your father. Way ahead of you. Yeah, we already have that, but thank you. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> I think the opposite would be true. I think she would be tearing the place apart to reach me. <sighs> Sounds like Liliana. <sighs> Anyway, I got paperwork to attend I to. I'm really sorry for the situation you're in. <sighs> you think I get uh, used to it? On the plus side. <sighs> if you leave your stuff with me by this time tomorrow. Well, not even by this time tomorrow. Probably by just tomorrow. <sighs> you will have something to use. You know where the bars are. You want my gauntlet? Actually, no, I don't. I showed you where they are. They're, I nestled them in the wood. Oh, that's where you fucking put them. I yep. was like, I was wondering why you were fondling the logs. Who are fondling they logs? Fondling. <laughs> Let me get my gauntlet. Fondle thy log. Who are fondling thy log? 
my lord. If I hear any log if you're bundling in lonely, here, I'm I will sure be we sure. Can do something for you, my lord. You don't have to do that in front of Kang like that. But yeah, yeah. <sighs> Where's the least flammable part of this underground? Uh, why? <laughs> I'm going to be melting things. Hmm. My arm um, good. Okay. I will do what I can with these. <clears throat> now, in regards to sleeping arrangements, now that you got more people under this household, where do you want to stick myself and my friend? Um, you can use my room, since there's an actual bed there. I refuse. You will stay in your bed and you will actually sleep in it for a I don't when sleep you're in done. beds. What about her? <sighs> okay. Oh, she's, she, she's sleeping. You go downstairs mm. and sleep in the bed that isn't Olena's because she will fucking kill you when she gets back. I'll take yeah, downstairs. Yeah, my bed. Have you not seen it? Do you want to see it? I think the point was not to let people see it, but okay. But tanks well, you've cool. already mentioned it. Most of the... <clears throat> you realize that when... Th that was looted too, when they came in and searched the place, they searched down there. Well, that was the guards, so I mean, we could have handled that. Yeah, I know, trust the guards so much more than I trust Tang. Come on, Tang. Come on, just check downstairs. Alright, you made your point. <laughs> he starts moving pillows. And there's a trap door there. I, I was honestly about to Hold sleep on, on this. I didn't second. even know. Oh. What? Come on down. You forgot about the switch, my lord. I didn't, no one told me about Wait. a fucking switch. I just I just been miming it the oh, entire there's time. A switch. There's a switch right here. It's no one told me shit! <laughs> Did you not know? <laughs> you just it was the door. Door. Oh, damn. You got a... Holy shit. What the fuck? I'll just work down here. <laughs> oh my god. In full seriousness. <laughs> There's no ventilation here. You would suck. Oh wait, no, you don't breathe. But Buddy, this is, this I think is... that this is about the only place that I would be. Do you have any idea? This is where uh, anyway. you're sleeping. I think this is all in his room, so that one. Right. If you want to spend that with your lady. That one. Well, we don't share a bed. Uh, we'll, a, we'll no, 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 no. Actually, There's look. A man. look. A... Yeah. Yeah, all right. Got bed roll? Got bed. Yeah. Right. I'm on the floor. Understood. Why are there two Seems chairs next to that bed? Cock chairs. Yes. Why does every hotel have those? I know! It's for putting on and shoes. And then the cock... the, the no. cockaneen bench. <laughs> you can't forget the cockaneen bench. <laughs> right. And then Lisa can sleep on the couch in my room or down here. When or you have the you will tell to no one. Yeah, you're gonna fucking sleep. Did you? But yes. Uh, after you put everything back. <sighs> there you go. My disappointment can't be unmeasured. I'll just anyway, sleep on the bed down there. <laughs> Bad. Ow! Bad. Bad Sorry. what? <laughs> Sorry. My hand slipped. Bad dreams. Bad. <laughs> All right, well, Tibbs is down there, Tang's down here, you're where, wherever you end up. Me, me, you. me, Kasa, I, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, my lord. My house is your bread. You, I think you tried to say it with the voice, and you didn't have the voice. Fucking... Fucking... Fuck. 
You'll get there. Just just practice to remember. It's all about the oh, goggles. Do you, do you, and you want the, me to say that phrase was Warforged? I can tell it in Warforged. You didn't know what he said. My house, your bread. Uh, close enough. You two would just hear, like, growling and, like, guttural kind of, like... <clears throat> I don't feel safe anymore. You have odd company. Yeah. Anyway. You have very old company. All night, right, night, let's sweetie. Let's get some work on your stuff. Let's get <laughs> night. Right. Hey, that's what I sound. That's what I sounded like 15 years ago. <clears throat> right. <sighs> night, Tang. Good night. I'll be your alarm clock. <laughs> oh, here's all the Gradian porn. I was wondering where it was stored. <laughs> yeah, look at this one. <laughs> like, how does her leg flip like that? That's crazy. <laughs> I'm more concerned about her arm bending that way. Hmm. Uh, what do you think, Lisa? I'm disowning you as my brother. Oh god, she can talk! <laughs> Holy shit! Yeah. It worked! Tiberius, you're a genius! Porn, guys. It worked! <laughs> all it took was karate. It solves all our problems! <laughs> uh, Alright, uh. let's... Let's toilet away at this, shall we? Ah. Tank, can you make me a robot that does this? Wait.